Hey, I'm Dean. I'm your multi-genre music man. I'm back again. Welcome all my Triple M family members. Uh, if you want to be a Triple M member, family member, all you do is hit the red your subscribe button, the red subscribe button once. Uh, you don't ever have to hit it again. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Um, and ring that bell if you would. That way you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out or um, I go live or anything like that. Um, so, back to this uh, Zach um, rushing. Uh, they mentioned Mama T on the last video I played, the Black Cookout. Uh, and apparently he's going to Mama T's Fish Fry this time. It's a fish fry he's going to go to. So, I gotta hear this one. This one sounds like it's gonna be good, so let's give it a try. Mama T's Fish Cookout. Okay, I appreciate y'all being real patient with me and all. But here's what's been going on. One, I did not make Mama T's birthday. I'll tell you why, because my dad decided to have a heart attack. Because about seven years ago, he decided that mayonnaise and Slim Jims was a food group. So, Ugh. I'm waiting on the fucking white people. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I did, people. however, get her a birthday present Locking and sent her people. said birthday present. Now, apparently she liked it because I got the invite. Well, I got her one of them 25-gallon fish fryers, the one you hook up to the propane bottle and you can cook a jagillion fish at one time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where you're at, but down here in South Mississippi, we fry a lot of fish. Well, for Memorial Day weekend, I got the call. I said, yeah, I'll be there. I'm down like four flats. Well, she, she invited me over and all that stuff. Well, I knew what I was getting into. So about a week before time for the, for the fish fry, I started making <coughs> preparations. I said, I ain't, well, it's too damn hot in South Mississippi now to go over there in jeans and boots like I was last time. So I'm going to try to fit in. I'm going to go get me a pair of Jordans. All right. I called my buddy. I said, buddy, what kind of Jordans I need where I don't get laughed at? He said, uh -huh. go get you a pair of uh, a number of Jordans. I said, all right, I'll run down there to the Dixie and get me a pair. He said, no, 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 boy, you can't go down there to the Dixie and get Jordans. I said, yeah, they sell them there. I didn't think he knew. I had no idea that there was a special kind of Jordan you had to get. To. What, apparently what they sell at Dick's is Team Jordans, and you get your ass laughed straight out of the barbecue on that one. And I guess from what I've heard is special number Jordans that are better than others that you gotta buy that are better numbers and all that's crazy. You gotta go get number Jordans. At this point when he's talking, I'm as lost as an illegal immigrant at a vote for Trump rally. I'm talking about I ain't got a shit <laughs> <and> <laughs> what the hell's going on. None, none, never happened. So I go on one of them websites that he sent me to fly something. Bought me a pair of Jordans. The only one that had my size, size 15. I had to get a size 15. Hang on. But, uh, anyway, so I show up there in my Jordans. And after they done, you know, you know, they laughed at me and stuff like that, you know, I thought it would be a good conversation piece. They had told me that I had committed one of the utmost crimes known to man. Apparently, when you get a pair of Jordans, you ain't supposed to walk normal. Okay, you ain't supposed to just walk, like, increase your toe and stuff. They put me in jump man jail is what they call it. Oh, let me get my shoe off. Hang on. See that right there? Got me a pair of them. 23, right there. There's a crease right here. No. Uh -uh. Apparently, you're not supposed to walk normal when you have a pair of Jordans. You're supposed to do walk on your heels like a March of the Penguins type deal in order to keep your shoes Don't in crease the Jordans. You can price them, some bitches. I completely understand. That, I digress. Don't crease your Jordans. That's on that. Anyway, I'll do the fish fry. So I say hey to everybody, and half of them remember me and all that type of stuff. Well, we get good and into it, and I want to help, but I don't want to piss nobody off, okay? So I asked Mom T, I said, Mom T, can I help with anything? She, she said, yeah, go go see the boy that's, that's frying the fish, see if you can help him. All right. I go over there, and he's letting me help. That's how I know I'm climbing the ladder with this family, because he's letting me help. And when I say help, I mean I got to hold the tin little pan thing with the napkins in it for when he dumped the fish in. And then somebody would come get that from me and take it to the food table because apparently they did not trust me to walk 25 feet from where I was standing to over there to the food table to put it on there. Anyway, but I'm helping. I'm acting like a fucking statue and I'm doing what a damn table could have done, but uh -huh. guess what? Zach's helping. Now. Helping's helping. 
one of the main things that I was excited about about going back to this fish fry is I was going to win my damn money back in dice. Okay, so I went into the bank, got me a hundred dollars, ones, stack of them like that right chunk. I right, had a band around them and everything. I lost. Let me tell you something. I really need a, a, a course on that shit because th this shit, they, they keep making up stuff. What the fuck is a side bet? There's a some bitch over here who's betting me. He ain't even rolling. He ain't even in the game. He just keep on telling me to re-up. So I'm putting... Oh, they rolled him hard. Yeah, you do side bets and all that stuff. That's just, you know, that's just rolling somebody for their money. Yeah, you don't do side betting and all that. If somebody's not in the game rolling the dice, they're not supposed to be doing any side betting. Money over there and here. Why didn't we just increase the minimum? Exactly. Why did, well, I'm betting two places, and when I lose, I lose both of them, but I might win that one and look. Ho, oh, I, I won like two. Anyway, I got the band that the $100 came in left, because that's all I got left. I'm going to win my money back. The bet. band the $100 I, I'm, I'm gonna came win. in. I'm going to win it back. I don't know when, but I'm going to get it back. Anyway, everything's going good. Oh, another thing I learned. Somebody could have told me the little red bottles of the fish fry down here in the south, that's not ketchup at a bite fish fry. That's hot sauce. That's Somebody could have told me that. There ain't a speck of ketchup nowhere, and there damn sure wasn't no tartar sauce. It was hot sauce or dry. That's all you got. Well, we, you know, we didn't. We getting on pretty well, pretty well. You know, I'm seeing everybody shaking hands. Done lost my money, broke as hell again. <laughs> and uh, one of the boys asked me, said, hey, Zach, come on, we finna dance. I blame y'all for this. <laughs> Why did nobody tell me that I'm supposed to do two rounds of insanity and one round of P90X before I go get on the damn dance floor? This is insane. Cause once you get there, you don't fucking leave. You're just there. Uh, we, the, whoever had the damn iPod, it was playing music, had five songs back to back, and not damn one of them was the boot scooting boogie. I'm flailing boop, around boop, out there. Boogie. I don't have a shit clue what, what's going on. I'm flailing around like a fresh caught catfish you just hit the bottom of it. How many people know, I'll tell you know who boot scoot boogie is. That's uh, Brooks and Dunn. It's an awesome song, Br uh, boot scoot boogie. I'm on a boat in August. I'm talking about, I ain't got no clue what's going on. It's hot, I'm fat. I got a bunch of shit going on. I am sweating more than a fresh fuck fox in a damn forest fire at this point. And it, uh, what, it, what the fuck is a wobble? Like, where does he come up with these terms? Some of these terms he comes up with are just crazy. Y'all didn't tell me nothing about this. I read all the comments and nobody said nothing about this. And apparently when little John screamed, make your knees touch your elbow, his aunt almost broke my hip with her badonka donk. Mm. And you can't get off because they just, I'm in the middle of the shit, just kind of white man in it, just back and forth, just wiggling my hips. I don't know what's going on. I did know the electric slide. That was a good one. White man in it. Lost. No idea what the hell was going on. None. Enough. I did, however, learn this. I learned that there's a big difference between a barbecue and a fish fry down here. Because when we went to the barbecue, apparently everybody was on their best behavior at a Fish fry, just just anything goes. I mean, just anything goes. I mean, at the at the barbecue, the kids were acting right and had manners and stuff. But this fish fry, they don't give a fuck what you're doing. And I had no idea that a flip flop could be used as a deadly weapon. <laughs> no idea. There was more little kids spanked. <laughs> if you don't have a mom that used to use a. a flip-flop as a deadly weapon and that you've not lived your life yet. <laughs> they can take their shoe off and, and whack you from anywhere in the room with precise uh, accuracy like you wouldn't believe. With Jordan slides and this fish fry to anything I've ever seen. There ain't been that many baby boys booty spanks as Neverland Ranch was in full operation. Uh-uh-uh. I am still confused as hell. I felt like I had a bead on this. I mean, I was leading it and everything. I ain't, I ain't shit an ounce, nothing. Sooner or later, I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna quit being the laughing stock of these damn fish fries and barbecues. Shit. Shit. Okay, I appreciate you. Shit. Yeah, that's uh, uh, Zach rushing again. Um, sorry if uh, you guys are getting bored of him. I, I think he's kind of funny, and I, I want to get out as many as I can because he's got a lot of funny ones out there. 
before they take them down I'd like to get some of them on my channel um, so I hope you don't mind me doing a few um, yeah just don't forget to um, subscribe uh, on the um, the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to ring the bell and if you have a comment leave it below and that should do it um, this is Dean saying have a wonderful night I'll see you on the next video which will probably be pretty soon see you soon